Hello, in this video, we're going to take a look at this firm's cost of production. And we're going to determine all the firm's costs at 10 units of output. And then we'll do some integral and definite integral of the marginal cost equation. Question one, what is the firm's fixed cost at 10 units of output? So here's the firm's total cost. And total cost is part fixed cost plus part variable cost. So the fixed cost part is just a constant. So fixed cost is $4. Next, what is that firm's average fixed cost at 10 units of output? Average fixed cost is fixed cost divided by the quantity of output. So 4 divided by 10, or 40 cents per unit. So there is 40 cents of fixed cost on average in each unit of output. Question 3, what is the firm's variable cost at 10 units of output? So as we mentioned, total cost is fixed cost plus variable cost. So we could think of variable cost as total cost minus fixed cost. And that will leave us with this following equation here. So basically, everything in the total cost equation except the constant will be the firm's variable cost of production. And if we evaluate variable cost at 10 units of output, simplify, we get variable cost of $320 at 10 units of output. What is the firm's average variable cost at 10 units of output? We take the variable cost and, it, and divide it by Q, in this case 10, and we get $32. So there's $32 of variable cost in each unit of output. Question 5. What is the total cost at 10 units of output? So just plug in 10 into the cost function and solve and we get $324. What is the average total cost at 10 units of output? The cost per unit is the total cost divided by the quantity, and in this case we get $32.40. And question seven, what is the marginal cost at 10 units of output? We can take the derivative of the total cost equation. We could also take the derivative of the variable cost equation. I don't show that, but taking the derivative of the total cost equation, this right here, the derivative of a constant, or 4, is 0. The derivative of 2q is 2. The derivative of 0.5q squared. We take the exponent here on the q and bring it down in front. So we're going to get 2 times 1 half. And then we got to subtract 1 from the exponent. And finally, the last derivative we're taking here is this 0.25q to the third power. The exponent comes down in front once again. And then we subtract 1 from that exponent. And simplifying, we get a marginal cost equation that looks like this. And now we will evaluate that marginal cost equation at 10 units of output. And we get an answer here of $87. So to sum up, at Q equals 10, production costs are as follows. Total cost is $324. Fixed cost is $4. Variable cost is $320. Average total cost is $32.40. Average fixed cost is $0.40. Cents. Average variable cost is $32. You will note that total cost equals fixed cost plus variable cost. So 4 plus 320 gets us back to the $324 of total cost. You'll note that average total cost equals average fixed cost plus average variable cost. So $0.40 cents plus 32 gets us back to average total cost of $32.40. You'll also note that total cost is average total cost times quantity. So $32.40 times the 10 units of output gets us total cost. You'll also notice that variable cost can be thought of as average variable cost times quantity. So 32 times 10 gets us back to variable cost. Fixed cost can be thought of as average fixed cost times quantity. So 40 cents times 10 the fixed cost per unit times the number of units of output gets us back to total fixed cost of $4. And let's now look at marginal cost a little bit more closely. Here's marginal cost. If we're to take the integral of marginal cost, uh, we're going to get back the, we can get back the cost equation and variable cost equation. So we're going to take the integral of marginal cost and simplifying 
or rewriting, we get this. So just taking antiderivatives here, uh, antiderivative 2 is 2q, uh, taking the integral of q dq, uh, the rule is uh, we're going to add 1 to the exponent, and then what the sum of this exponent is, we're going to put that uh, 1 over that. And then likewise, a similar rule here, uh, getting the antiderivative of 0.75q squared, we add 1 to the exponent, and then we're going to have 1 over the sum of the exponent down here. Simplifying, simplifying some more. This is basically our cost equation where C represents fixed cost or a constant. And ignoring the constant then, we back into variable cost, everything but the constant or fixed cost. All right, uh, let's uh, now look at the definite integral. Uh, this is used to calculate the area under the curve. In this case, we're going to look at the area under the marginal cost curve from 0 to 10 units of output. If we calculate the area under the marginal cost curve between 0 and 10 units of output, we're going to get the firm's variable cost of $320. Let's show that. So here is our setup. And as we just showed, uh, the integral of marginal cost equals the following. We're going to look at uh, summing up the area under the marginal cost between 0 and 10 units of output. That's going to equal variable cost. So we're going to first evaluate this integral result at 10, and then we're going to subtract from it the value of this integral result where q is 0. And you'll notice here that this simplifies pretty nicely. We're just going to have minus C over here on the far right-hand side, and that's going to then cancel out this C or constant term over here. So what we're left with is this result, and that equals $320. So indeed, if you were to sum the area under the marginal cost curve between 0, in this case 10 units of output, you have what variable cost equals, in this case $320. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.